So in this video, we'll be going over the example of a cannon shooting at an angle. So this is very similar to the other problem where we had the cannon shooting straight up. So now the question is, how does that change the energy in the system? So the problem, we have an artillery shell launched at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal. The launch speed is again 320 meters per second. How high will the shell go? So we're going to be looking for a height again. And then we're again told that air resistance can be ignored. So as with every problem, we start by drawing our coordinate system. I've chosen again, just like the other problem, the y equals zero position to coincide with the cannon. And then the positive, the upwards direction is the positive y direction. So now that we have a coordinate system, we can draw our diagram. So this is again, something out of module three for projectile motion, where we've dealt with cannons or objects being shot and they follow that parabolic trajectory so we know that we have an initial velocity of 320 meters per second. We're told that the angle above the horizontal is 30 degrees. We know that at the highest point, it's not going to have a velocity of zero. That's true for when we just have a following, falling object, but since we have two-dimensional motion, the velocity in the y direction will be zero, but we will have some finite velocity in the x direction. So we need to figure out what that is. So we're gonna draw a velocity triangle that we are familiar with doing. So we have the initial velocity, we have an angle of 30 degrees, the horizontal component, the x component, is the cosine because it's the adjacent side. So we have v naught cosine of 30, and that's vx. And then vy is just equal to, it's the opposite side of the angle, so it's sine. So we have v naught sine of 30 degrees. So we know at this highest point, Vy is equal to zero, but Vx is equal to V naught cosine of 30. So the total velocity at that highest point, which is what we're looking for, is going to be equal to Vx labeling from our y equals zero position all the way to the top we're going to call that h and at this point we've labeled everything that we've been given and what we could figure out based off of the givens so now we can draw our free body diagram to do that we need to define what our system is our system is the shell so when the shell is in the air Again, with projectile motion, if we ignore air resistance, the only force acting is the force of gravity, pointing downwards, and that's the weight, which is equal to m times g. Again, just like the other problem, the gravitational force is a conservative force, and if that's the only force acting, then we know that the, there's no non-conservative forces and thus no work being done by non-conservative forces. And so what are we looking for? We're looking for h, the height, the maximum height. We expect a positive number and units of meters. So we can again come down to our plan we're going to use our seven term energy equation. So anytime we're dealing with energy considerations, start with this equation every time. 
you know, if you start with this, then you can start to cancel out things that don't apply to our problem. Much like the other problem, we don't have springs. So those are going to cancel out. And we're just left with what is potential energy and what is kinetic energy, um, the equations for those. And so those are written here. Now executing our plan, we start with our seven term energy equation. We talked about why the non-conservative, the work done by non-conservative forces is zero because we don't have any non-conservative forces. We just have the force due to gravity. The spring potential energies, both initial and final are zero because we don't have any springs. The initial potential energy is zero because that's where we defined our zero point with the start of the canyon. So it is, there's no height above our zero point, so we have no potential energy at the start. The difference between this problem and the other example where the cannon was shot straight up is we'll now have a kinetic energy in the final. So before that was zero, but now that it's angled, we have a kinetic energy component because we have a velocity component in the x direction at the top. So now we can simplify our equation. We're left with 1 half m v naught squared for the kinetic energy initial. That's equal to m times g times h for the final potential energy plus this new term now that is one half m the velocity final squared at the maximum height and we know that that's just the x component of velocity and we found that to be v naught cosine of 30 and that's squared so we have an m in every term so we can cancel those out and we again we want to separate out h because that's what we're looking for so we find that h is equal to 1 over 2 times g multiplied by v naught squared 1 minus cosine squared of 30 degrees and plugging that into your calculator you find that h sorry about that h is equal to 1.31 times 10 to the third meters, which is equal to 1.3 kilometers. And so that's what we expected. Positive units of meters or kilometers, and that is what was given as the answer. So now we're gonna look at the energies for the shell being shot straight up and then the shell being launched at an angle, what we just did. So for the shell being shot straight up, we only had kinetic energy at the start because the potential energy for the gravitational potential energy is zero because of where we define the baseline. There's no spring. And we only have conservative forces at play. So the work done by non-conservative forces is zero. So we're just gonna draw a bar up and the value or the amount of energy is just equal to 1 half m v squared. We don't know m, so we're just gonna leave that as what our value is. So if we don't have work done by non-conservative forces, if that's zero, then we know that the initial energy must be equal to the final energy. So EI is equal to EF. The initial energy is equal to the final energy when you have no work done by non-conservative forces. So we know what we should expect in terms of the amount of the bars at the final energy. So there's no kinetic energy at the top because there's no velocity at the top. There's no springs. So the potential energy must be equal to the initial kinetic energy. So all of the kinetic energy is getting transferred into potential energy.
because there's no work done by non-conservative forces. So now we can come down here to two. And so this is when the shell is being launched at an angle. Again, the potential energy at the start is zero because of where we defined our baseline. There's no springs. There's no work done by non-conservative forces. We only have the gravitational force acting. So again, we're going to keep the kinetic energy where we did before. And again, that's equal to 1 half m v squared, same amount. Again, if work's zero, then the initial energy must be equal to the final energy. Except this time, the energy distribution is going to be a little different. So we don't have anything from springs. So we're going to have a combination of kinetic energy and potential energy. So since our height is a quarter of the height from the first problem, we know that our potential energy must be a fourth of what the potential energy was in the first problem. So that instead of four bars, it's just going to go up to this first bar. Because recall that the potential gravitational potential energy is just equal to mgh. And so if the height is one quarter, then that means the potential energy comparison is just a quarter as much. And so since the initial energy and the final energy must be equal, we know that the kinetic energy, final kinetic energy, must be three bars so that the total adds to the initial kinetic energy. And so what this highlights is that as you change the angle of the launch, so as you go from vertical now to an in-between angle, what you're doing is you're transferring less kinetic energy into potential energy because you're going to have some kinetic energy remaining in the final stage. 